open Sonic Fire from the dock on any CCTV editing computer to open the main browsing window. Sonic Fire gives you access to our entire licensed collection of music, along with tools for exporting exactly what you need for your project. Tracks are listed in alphabetical order with an album name, intensity rating, and tempo. The list is long, almost 2,600 tracks are available. To find the right track, use the columns at the top of the window to narrow the selection. In the first column, make sure these items are checked, but not the others. This will ensure that you're only seeing the music tracks that CCTV has a license to use. In the second column, click the drop menu to select criteria to sort by. Style is always a good place to start. Sorting by style gives you a list of music genres like classical, rock, and jazz. As soon as you select a style, the selection is narrowed considerably. Use the third column to narrow the selection even further. Choose a different sorting criteria from the drop-down list. Intensity, for example. When you double-click a track title in the list, it will immediately begin playing in the controls area. Right away, you'll see an audio level meter and a blue button for pausing and playing the clip. Use the slider to move around in the clip so you can go back to the beginning or jump straight to the end. Click the drop menu labeled Variation to listen to any of the different sounding options for the track you've selected. Most of these variations offer a different opening or instrumentation to the song, so listen to the beginning of any variation you select. Multi-layered tracks have three lines next to them in the list instead of just the one. With multi-layered tracks, you also have access to the mood selector, which is really a way to remove portions of the track so you only hear certain instruments. You should have some idea of how long you want your music clip to be, so type that duration into the box. Duration is in a familiar format, hours, minutes, seconds, and frames. You don't have to type the separators. If you want 30 seconds, for example, just type 3000 and press return. If you're not sure how long you want the track to be, switch to Final Cut using the dock. Click and drag in the timeline to select just the part of the project you want music for. Once those parts are selected, look at the bottom of the timeline. Final Cut is displaying the duration of just the part you've selected. In this case, 14 seconds and 11 frames. Switch back to Sonic Fire and type that duration into the box. The great thing about this program is the way it creates a complete track with a distinct ending regardless of the length you input. Once you've selected a track, chosen a variation, and determined its duration, you will export a standalone file to be saved on your hard drive. Just a reminder here, never save anything to either of the folders that Final Cut created on your drive. These are labeled Final Cut Events and Final Cut Projects. The best practice is to stay away from those folders. For the purpose of staying organized, you might want to go to the Finder, select your drive, and create a new folder labeled Music. To export a track, click the Export button in the lower right of the Controls area. The first box you see contains settings, and you shouldn't have to change them. Just in case somebody else did, take a look and make sure they match the example here. If everything checks out, click the blue Export button in this window. The next window you'll see is where you'll select a location to save. The file must be saved to your hard drive. Don't save it to the desktop or the documents folder or anywhere on the computer's internal hard drive. 
the best practice is to click on your drive, click on the music folder you created, then click Save. There's still one more step to get the track into Final Cut so you can use it in your project and you already know how to do it. Right click the event you're working with and select Import Media. Navigate to your hard drive in the Media Import window and find the track. Sonic Fire adds a little numeric code to the front of its file, so watch out for that. Click on the file, then click on Import Selected. For music, always make sure that Copy Files to Final Cut Events folder is checked. Now all you have to do is drag the track to the timeline. Music files behave very much like titles. They are connected clips. Most people place them below the primary storyline. Be sure to watch the meters and adjust the clip to acceptable levels, just like any other audio clip. Yeah. <laughs>